Hello everyone, this is Win Boys. I'm so happy to deliver you Captain Rebecca's rating. Today's topic is the principles behind the creation and resolution of karma. When a person is born, he is trapped in the time and space of his planet. Humans are trapped in the gravity of their planet from the moment they are born. Humans are trapped in the magnetic field of their planet from the moment they are born. From the moment human beings are born, they are trapped in the material matrix installed on their planet. The material matrix installed on a planet is different for its planet. Korean people have recognized the material matrix installed on a planet by the heaven as Cholla Ji Mang, which is a net laid out by the heaven which anything once caught can never escape from. From the moment human beings are born, they are trapped in Cholla Ji Mang, which is a network the heaven has unfolded in the material world on a planet. From the moment a person is born, he is meant to have the same destiny with the planet's spiritual hierarchy. A human being is not free from his planetary karma from the moment he is born and is influenced by his planetary karma Human beings are bound to live under the influences of both the meridian ceiling and the karmic energy field installed in invisible world of his body from the moment of birth. When your program for this life is determined by your original spirit and the heaven before you are born, the contents of karma to be dissolved in this life and the new karma that will occur in this life are planned and programmed at the same time. The overall content of karma that will occur in your life is determined first in a big frame by the heaven before you are born. Besides, the content of your karma is also determined by the content of your program for this life. The size of karma that will occur in your life is likely to become greater than that determined in the heaven due to your desire and the abuse of your free will to be exercised in your real life. When your spirit soul chooses to evolve through gaining material experiences before you are born, the karma that will occur in your life and the percentage of your karma to be dissolved will be determined. Besides, the schedule and detailed plan to dissolve the karma that will occur are also managed by your spirit soul and the heaven from the outset when your spirit soul decides to evolve through experiencing the material world. The most powerful karmic energy field, which is the underlying cause of the contradictions that can cause lead to you inborn disorder and diseases will be installed as an intensible deep layer before you are born. Depending on the contents and percentage of the karma, you will have to dissolve. Also, depending on the content and percentage of the karma, you will have to dissolve. Karmic energy fields are installed in the intensible middle layer before you are born. This karmic energy field will cause contradictions in the factors associated with your personality, including the imbalanced expression of your emotions and 
the detective implementation of your intelligence and consciousness. Finally, depending on the content and percentage of the karma you will have to dissolve, karmic energy field, which are the direct causes of physical disabilities, illnesses, or contradictions we will experience, are installed in your tissues and organs that belong to the tangible superficial layer before you are born. Spirit soul can grow through their contradictions. You need a brake to stop a car so that you can drive the car safely. The safety of a car with only an accelerator cannot be guaranteed. If your free will and your life program, then your spirit soul should experience correspond to a car's accelerator. Your karma is a safety device that acts as a brake. Your karma is not only an obstacle, but also a contradiction set up intentionally by the heaven in order to increase the importance and value of your free will. Karma, which is a gift of the heaven for you, is also a whip, pain, and your life's contradiction that your original spirit has deliberately prepared for you. If you are now living as a human, you are thrown into the huge contradiction called the material matrix that the heavenly has unfolded. You are an existential being thrown into a big net unfolded by the heaven. There is no spirit soul that is free from the net spread out by the heaven. From the moment human beings are born, they are struck in the material matrix that the heaven has unfolded. It is a universe destiny and environment given to all living creatures. On the other hand, plants and animals are free from karma from the moment they are born. Spirit souls which enter plants and animals to gain material experiences do not make karma and so do not have karma to dissolve. Plants and animals only live in the cycle of life, evolving by adapting themselves to the material matrix of the planet they are bound to. Karma is a cosmic phenomenon that occurs only to humans. A spirit soul must have a code in which the spirit soul can make its journey for gaining material experiences. The human being is the best coat ever that the spirit soul can wear. The spirit souls that are supposed to dwell in plants cannot wear the human body as their coats because the human body is too big for them. For a spirit soul existing, in an animal to receive the human body as its coat. It must evolve for a long time until its size and brightness are grown enough to receive the human body, which will be given by the heaven. The coat called the human being was created by using the highest level of engineering technology in the universe. The human body is the newest and the most cutting edge style of coat in the universe, designed to enable the implementation of higher levels of consciousness and abstract thinking and also the expression of the most complex emotions. Only spirit souls that have evolved enough to will the human body can receive human bodies. Only spirit souls that have evolved enough to receive human bodies
to make karma during their journeys for gaining material experiences. Why? Chola Jimang is commonly applied to all the spirit souls wearing human bodies. Karma is applied individually and specially to spirit souls dressed in the human body. The cosmic procedure in which karma is created and then dissolved is designed not only to allow unique characteristics and the individuality of each spirit soul to be implemented, but also to ensure the manifestation of equality of the spirit soul substantially in accordance with its evolution, but not perfunctorily. Indeed, it is an absolutely fair and impartial principle of the universe. The principles of the creation and the dissolution of karma are the law and axioms that the Creator uses to rule the grand universe. The principles behind the creation and the dissolution of karma are not only a safeguard but also an intentional contradiction only for the more evolved spirit souls among spirit souls who are on the journey for the gaining material experiences in the universe. The more evolved spirit souls and the older spirit souls, the more karma they make and have to dissolve. An old spirit soul who has evolved for a long time can live a life creating a lot of karma, play a difficult role, live as a hero or saint, and live as a tyrant or an evil person. The fact that a spirit soul has a lot of karma is evidence that a spirit soul has evolved that much and also indicates that the spirit soul is evolving. It is the privilege of the old spirit soul in the universe that they build up karma and dissolve those karma through the reincarnation process. The process of creating and dissolving karma is an absolutely fair axiom of the grand universe and spirit soul can evolve through their material experiences in, the, in this process. That is to say, a spirit soul evolve and grow through the process of balancing karma. During the evolution of the grand universe, spanning the time between the fifth and the end of the sixth major cycle, too many karma have been caused by living creatures that has abused their free will in the universe. The Creator decided to dissolve cosmic karma inevitably accumulated during the evolution of the grand universe. For this purpose, the planet Earth was chosen as the place where those cosmic karma would be gathered together to be dissolved through the process of balancing cosmic karmas. Captain Udeka tells you that the process of karma balancing in which karma is created and then dissolved is another way of evolution of the grand universe. It is the law of evolution of the grand universe. December 22nd, 2018, Udeka writes, Translated by Wimbos. Thank you for watching it. See you next Monday. Bye.